back to my channel. It is currently Monday evening and I am doing tomorrow's dinner. Johnny had to leave for work super early today. He had to go at 4.30. Um, my sister's come over to help me out because, well, I originally was going to have a bath because I knew Johnny had to leave early. So I thought, well, he's going to need a lot of sleep. He didn't get into like half three, quarter to four in the morning. So I said to my sister, look, I'm not going to get a chance to have a bath or anything today. Like in the day, can you come over in the evening? Anyway, Johnny ended up being awake and said, go have a bath. So I've had my bath. Johnny had his sleep. Everyone's happy, except for me, I'm making an absolute mess in the kitchen. Um, oh my goodness, seriously, <laughs> I'm dropping everything. I basically, tomorrow's dinner, I made it before on my channel, and um, I'm not sure if this is funny or embarrassing, but I forgot how to make it and I had to go back to my video to tell myself how to make it. Because basically, I made it before, and it was the first time I made it. And I thought I'd made it from another YouTuber's recipe. When I watched the video, I realised that it was actually in my recipe book, which is just over there. But it was too late. I was like, ah, the video's up now. So I've got a bunch of mess to clear up. I've been chopping onions and potatoes. So basically, it's a ham and cheese potato bake. It's a Slimming World friendly meal on Pinch of Nom. Um, but I do, yeah, no, it's ham and cheese potato bake. The Slimming World one is bacon and cheese. I use ham and cheese. Just made it, made a complete mess of the kitchen. Funny thing, even though I had the instructions, my video, I kind of went, oh, okay, so that's how you do it. Pause. And I thought, yes, I've done it. And then I just what, <laughs> clicked the video just to see the finishing touches, you know, how long does it go in the oven for? Realised I put the cheese on and I wasn't meant to put the cheese on, so I had to try and scrape as much of the cheese, which is why you've got a plate full of cheese here. I am now going to have a cheese and cucumber sandwich because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast and I love cheese and cucumber sandwiches. They remind me of my nan in Australia. She has sadly passed, but I remember one of my first times in Australia, she made us um, a cheese and cucumber sandwich. And to my knowledge, it was the first time I'd ever had one, so it always makes me think of my nan. I'm having one of them because I'm hungry. Tidying this up, got to do some bottles, um, got washing to put out. Yeah, but I don't want this video to be like a getting ready stuff. We'll just see how it turns out. <laughs> just see what happens. Because I wasn't actually going to vlog. This is very last minute. I just thought it was funny how much of an idiot I've turned out to be in my own kitchen. And um, yeah, it's embarrassing. Right, actually, I'm going to make myself coffee. I need a coffee. Mummy was needed. So I've made myself a coffee. Johnny got me these from Aldi. He knows I like my little sachets of flavoured coffees. This one isn't actually flavoured though. So I've put two scoops of hot chocolate in it to make it into like a mocha. So it's like a mocha cappuccino. It's like a mochaccino. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know what they are. I'm not a coffee expert. But yeah, I'm hoping that'll taste really nice. The cappuccino was nice today. Look at this mess, look at it. So that's for the dinner. That's got to go back in the fridge. I've just finished my sandwich. I've got to clean the oven because I made a complete mess. And oh, I don't even want to go there. So I really want to sort this out. It was so nice and neat and organized. It's just an absolute mess. I think what I'm going to do is put all my lipsticks and like lip glosses in a pre-box. And I think I'll put the box up here and then I'll move this stuff down here. Um, I also have an idea for my makeup brushes, um, but I just don't know how it's going to turn out. And then I just got stuff chucked. Oh, dinner's ready. Okay, let's go and sort that out. So I've got to put some cheese on the, on the dish and put it back in and then we'll come and look at this. Ooh. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is very different to what it looked like before. But... still edible <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like just got to put it in now for another sort of 10 minutes let the cheese melt and we'll see oh we'll see how it looks now back to the bedroom
FYI, I love my makeup palettes. I absolutely, I'm addicted to makeup palettes. I don't have loads and loads, I don't think. But there are quite a few more that I want to get. I've seen some in Primark. Um, anyway, this is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette Hot Spice. I use these as eyeshadows. Um, this orangey one I absolutely love. This is a really nice kind of blush. This is a nice kind of highlight colour, even though it's not what they're made for. Um, that one's quite nice as well. And then you've just got some natural colours. But I generally use this one a lot. But yeah, it's a blush palette that I use as eyeshadows. This is a PS Amber eyeshadow palette from Primark. Again, Again, I love the orangey one. Um, I use this kind of shimmery one. This shimmery one, I use the white. I use these colours over here. Um, what have I got? I've got an Anna Sui palette. Again, I love this one. I use the white. I love this colour here. This is like a bronzy colour. This is very daily. Very neutral colours up here. I've used this one before. I've used this one. I've used the pink. I use the black as an eyeliner sometimes. Just like a blended eyeliner. Love these chocolate palettes. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Yes, I did. Absolutely love these. Oh, look at those colours. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing them a lot in my videos lately and I've been getting lots of compliments. So I absolutely love that one. And then this is the same, but just a more pastel-y colour. Let's take that off. Um, and again, you can see the ones that I've been using. Absolutely love them. I want to get some more chocolate palettes. Um, actually, I just want to get more palettes in general, but I do love a good makeup palette. And this, guys, is the finished result. Nothing perfect. I really wanted this to be minimal, but I don't have time. My sister's got to go. Um, so, basically, all my lipsticks and lip glosses are in there. That is a big enough box for all of them. I've made this little jar for my brushes just um this had bath salts in it and it was empty so i just wrapped around some tissue paper that came in a gift bag someone got me a present the other day so i folded it and put that there and i think that's just a nice little touch got my makeup brush uh, brushes <laughs> can't even speak um easily accessible perfumes here and there is no like theme at all for anything else my palettes are here um i've just kind of filled the gaps in all honesty and tried to make it look as tidy as i can um i don't really have Sorry, I don't really have a lot of choice. This is a very small, tiny flat, and I'm really struggling for space. So that's everything there. Looks nice and tidy, other than these. I have to put these back on the nail, uh, not nail, necklaces. <laughs> but on the whole, I'm glad it's not cluttered anymore. Um, I'm really pleased to have all my lipsticks in one place. I'm really pleased to have done that with the brushes. So I'm actually really happy with that. So yeah. And this is how the dinner turned out. Is that hot? Yeah, it's still hot. Looks good. Gonna put some foil over that and we'll have that for dinner tomorrow. And now I need to make some bottles for my baby. Um, his big bottles need sterilizing, but I just use these in emergencies just so that we've got something because they still have the right amount that he can have. Um, and they are just literally just so he's got something. So I'm gonna make these bottles now. My sister has to go. Um, yeah. Seriously guys, hats off to single mums. Hats or single parents, in fact, just if you're doing this on your own, you are, like, you are a superhero. I mean, my sister's just gone. I still have a few things to do because where I've started, it's kind of messed up from where I started. <laughs> um, so I, I still have a few bits to do. The laundry still hasn't been hung yet. And it's, it can't just... Oh. I'm just kind of stressing a bit because I'm hot and sticky from running around. And you know how I said earlier on I was being an idiot in the kitchen and I was just being such a mess? Well, I basically, when I was putting the foil over the food and then I put, I lifted the food from the, the oven, the, oh. that's funny, wasn't it? <laughs> um, the stock was still obviously liquid and it dribbled out all over the floor, the oven. So there I am on my hands and knees cleaning again. Um, the floor is now slippery, so I've had to put a towel down just so that when Johnny comes home, he knows there's something under it. <laughs> um, hope that it's not um, going to be slippery for too much longer when it dries. Hopefully it'll be okay. But yeah, um, so that's kind of stressed me out. And I still need to make my smoothie. What I want to do is make a spinach and banana smoothie because my spinach has got literally no life in it left. I've, not, I've literally got to, I've got to use it up. I've got to. So I had one last night. I'm going to make another one today just so that I'm not wasting so much spinach. So yeah, I really want to make a spinach and banana smoothie, but... Oh, he's got his eyes open. He's awake. I might be able to do it now. <laughs> As he's asleep, I can't do it because of the noise, but because I can't put him down, he'll cry. He's, he's going through a growth spurt and he's very upset. 
with his mummy all the time, or at least to be cuddled. Don't you, boy? Don't you, boy? So maybe I'll go and do that in a bit, but actually I need to sit because I'm exhausted. <laughs> but yeah, if you're doing this on your own, you are angels. Like, I don't know how you do it. I have my sister's help, my mum and dad, my brother, my cousin, my best friends. I have help. My husband as well. Um, I mean, we all kind of chip in and help where we can and I still think wow I've got so much to do I don't know when I'm going to do it you guys are just amazing so yeah but then maybe it's just because babies are different aren't they like my babies he likes to be held some people I know they can put their babies down and their babies will sleep for hours my baby won't not unless he's being held so yeah it's just different isn't it but yeah well done to all of you parents out there because it's blooming hard <laughs> it is hard <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> so now that my little munchkin's awake I'm going to go make myself a spinach and banana smoothie. I'm going to take him with me, aren't I? Taking you with me in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, there you go, little wave. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to show you this really cool blender that I've got. It's a blender on the go. I've had it for about two years, I think, roughly around two years, year and a half, two years, and never used it until yesterday for the first time. So I'm going to show you it, and if I can find it, I will link it below because I got it from Amazon, but I'm not sure. My baby boy's smiling at me. Look at this. You okay, Bubba? You okay, Bubba? <laughs> Are you smiling at Mummy? Are you what are you doing? What are you doing, Bub? <laughs> so this is it. It's just like a little flask on the go. Oops, that's meant to go at the bottom, I think. Is it meant to go at the bottom? Um, yeah, it's meant to go somewhere. Anyway, um, so you've got the top lid, so you can pour it through like that, or you can just take the whole thing off and pour it if you have a thicker shake. Um, and yeah, it's just, you've got the button there. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, <laughs> I only used it once, madness. Okay, I'm going to charge it and then I'll make my smoothie. Hopefully the baby won't sleep because I really need him to be awake while I do it because um, I can't do it if he's asleep. Oh, that is so annoying. I can't believe that after one use it's run low. Sorry about that, guys. So just quickly show you, this is how you charge it. So I've just got a normal plug just going in the front of it. I don't know how long you have to charge it for. I'm just going to charge it for, well, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And hopefully that will give it enough charge to blend. Actually, maybe I'll just, I don't know. Okay, it's now nine o'clock and I need a snack. So I have got myself a green tea, a lemon green tea and some granola with a little bit of banana in it and some cinnamon. I know it's uh, not ideal to eat at this time of the night, but this is when I really get peckish. And this is a lot better than what I'd normally have. I would normally have a cup of tea and a hot, or a hot chocolate and um, 
what else would I have? I don't know, we have like a cheese sandwich, so green tea and granola is is good for me. By the way, that's what you can hear in the background when I'm in the kitchen. It's the extractor fan. Very noisy. Sorry about that, guys. So I've plaited my hair because it was kind of going a bit furry. <laughs> Not furry. It was kind of going like fluffy and all over the place. It was ridiculous. So I've plaited it, tamed it a little bit. Feeding my little bubba who's watching Imagination. Surprise. I know you know that I'm obsessed with her. So, yeah. You shouldn't really be surprised that she's on my screen again. Um, and Brandon loves her too. I mean, she's got so many videos, I'm still going through them. I've been binge watching her for about a week and a half. And um, still going through her videos, still finding new videos. Love her to bits. So make sure you go check her out after you've watched my video. Um, yeah, but Johnny has just said that he's going to be home before midnight, which is good. Because last night he was home at half three. <laughs> So yeah, I thought I would finish this video. This ah, thought I'd finish this video now before he gets back, um, because when he gets back, he's just going to be exhausted and want to go straight to bed. We're actually going to go to bed soon. It's quarter past ten. Um, he's had a sleep and woken up, so he's fine for now. But yeah, um, whew, it's really warm. Yeah, that's right, Baba. That's right, Baba. Anyway, um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. In fact, just give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all again in my next one.